This video is brought to you by Fool's Gold Into the Bellowing Wilds, a Dingo Doodles adventure on Kickstarter now. Check it out using our link below the video. And by Steam Forced Games and their Epic Encounter series. With just one box, you can run an awesome cinematic adventure that your players will never forget. Use our link below the video to see all your Epic Encounter options. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. So you made the plunge and bought yourself that enormous Yawning Portal inset that we reviewed in the video in the eye in the corner of your screen, but it feels a little empty in a way. You've got lots of tables and chairs, the bar, the stage, but the only person there is Dernan over here, the builder and the bartender. The Yanni Portal is not known for just its storied entrance to the Undermountain, but for the lively people who frequent it. For them, you need this box, the Yawning Portal Friendly Faces. Thank you to WizKids for sending it to us to review. And heck, even if you didn't buy the big Yawning Portal set, you may want to pick these well-known personalities up for your own adventures. You can always build a version of the Yawning Portal yourself with Warlock tiles and other terrain. And this is also very helpful if you're running Dragon Heist. Before we get these folks out of the box and into the tavern, I wanted to remind you that we are now official heralds for DMs Guild, your source for D&D supplements. What that means is that you can use our links and the discount code HeraldGoblin5 to get a 5% discount on everything you buy there digitally. And the more folks who use our link and code, the bigger the discount we can give you. For the Yawning Portal, check out the betting slip, which lets you wager with Dernan about which foolish adventurers will make it out of the Undermountain alive. Don't let your players miss out on this Yawning Portal staple activity. You can find our link to it in the video description down below. And now let's learn more about our Yawning Portal friendly faces. These characters are ones that you'll meet early on in Waterdeep Dragon Heist. They serve as guides, quest givers, and friends. In fact, each PC is instructed to choose one of them to have a pre-existing relationship at the start of the campaign. And a lot of them have secrets that I am going to leave you and your players to discover, so there's no real spoilers in this video. In fact, they can watch this to choose which of these characters they want to have as a friend. Bonnie here, the friendly barmaid for the Yawning Portal, is present. She's pretty new to the city, having only arrived about a year previously. She was lucky enough to impress Dernan with her skills and ended up getting a pretty good gig at the Yawning Portal. She's equally good at encouraging prospective adventurers and selling lots of ale. Matra Merig, also known as Three Strings, is a rather socially awkward bard who actually has more talent than he lets on. He's called Three Strings because that's how many strings his loot has left. He's almost always at the Yawning Portal and lives there, in fact. Recently, he started up a friendship with Bonnie the Barmaid. Matrum uses a CR2 bard stat block. And this is Jalester Silvermane, who reports to be a fairly high-level agent of the Lord's Alliance. He monitors adventurers in the Yawning Portal to make sure they don't do anything that would put the city into any danger. You'll often find him sitting alone in a corner, watching the festivities with a watchful eye. Though lately, he seems to be a bit distracted by something that's on his mind. He has a CR4 stat block. This is Maloon Wardragon, a fellow adventurer. He is cheery and optimistic, warm-hearted, and eager to join up with an adventuring party, but not to explore the Undermountain. He encourages folks to tackle problems within the city of Waterdeep itself. He's a pretty skilled combatant, and there are rumors that he's a former member of Force Grey. He has his own CR9 stat block. And this is Obaya Uday, a human priest of Joaquin, who is the true neutral goddess of trade. Obaya traveled from Cholt to sponsor some adventurers to head down into the Undermountain to recover some treasures that she can bring back to her employer, the merchant prince of Port Nyanzaru. So, if you have a mind to start a Tomb of Annihilation adventure, Obaya is one way that you may be able to bring some characters from Waterdeep to Cholt. This is Yagra Stonefist, a half-orc mercenary for the Black Network. She serves as a bodyguard for a Zentarum negotiator named Devil Starsong, whom you'll probably meet in the Dragon Heist adventure. If the party finds itself in opposition to the Xanathar's guild, they might find common cause with Yagra and her friends. Also note that many of the NPCs will carry over into Dungeon of the Mad Mage to serve as patrons there, and NPCs in that adventure as well. Yagra uses the CR 1 half Thug stat block. 
Finally, we have old Volo himself, Volothamp Gadarm, the legendary traveler and storyteller always looking for new material for his next big book. If you want information that you know will be at least half accurate, Volo is the one to talk to. Some of his bestsellers include Volo's Guide to All Things Magical, Volo's Guide to Good Rulership, Volo's Guide to Rhyming Incantations, and of course, Volo's Guide to Waterdeep. Volo had a previous mini in the Waterdeep Dragon Heist set, and he has a CR one quarter stat block in Tomb of Annihilation of all places. Gotta admit, I did not see this set coming. If you are playing Waterdeep Dragon Heist or Waterdeep Dungeon of the Bad Mage, this is a great set to pick up. And even if you aren't playing those adventures, using these characters to populate your tavern is a great way to create some story hooks for your adventures. And most of them can be pretty nifty little PC minis as well. I'm surprised they didn't just go ahead and brand this with the Dragon Heist title to make sure people playing the adventure don't miss it. Let me know what you think of these minis and the characters in the comment section down below. This set of of seven minis has an MSRP of $41.99 according to dndmini.com, but of course you know by now that you can find deals if you shop around. It's available in most stores right now. If you are looking for some new adventures to run, don't miss out on the final days of the Fool's Gold Into the Bellowing Wilds adventure in campaign setting book from Hit Point Press. We are in the closing days of the campaign, so this is the time to get on board. They've unlocked a ton of stretch goals and add-ons, and this is the cheapest price you're going to be able to get these books and the minis for, including the 12 inch tall Tarrasque. Go check it out today using our link below the video that's Fool's Gold Into the Bellowing Wilds on Kickstarter. And don't forget that the holidays are coming up and one great, great gift for your D&D fan in your life are the epic encounter boxes from Steamforce Games. These boxes contain a lot of fantastic minis, a double sided map, and an adventure book. All you need to bring to the table is a knowledge of the 5e rules and a set of dice. Maybe some player minis or tokens as well. The boxes are awesome. We have reviews of all of them, and the minis can be used again and again by your GM. Definitely consider picking one up as a gift for the D&D fan in your life or for yourself. Learn more by clicking the link below the video. That's Epic Encounters from Steam Forest Games. And thank you for watching today. Don't forget to check out our DM Skilled recommendations using our link below the video and the discount code HeraldGoblin5. Go sign up for our Cobalt Plush Kickstarter at CobaltPlush.com. And finally, come join us on Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <music>